just hit a thousand miles in our 2019 Polaris General. Thought we'd give you an update. We're gonna call this one the Down and Dirty Thousand Mile Review. So for this one, we've left it dirty. We've been out riding pretty hard lately and the General continues to impress us. And so far has been an awesome machine for our family. We could start out with things that have broken for this review, but luckily we haven't had any issues. Some of the issues that other people have had with clutching or the reverse gear causing any issues, none of that has happened. Um, the turf mode problems that people have had, uh, like I say, luckily none of that has happened to us. It is always kind of in the back of my mind, but we haven't had any issues. Um, other things that uh, other things to comment on would be the the shocks. No no issues there. We haven't had any issues with tie rods or axles or anything um, breaking. So really, this machine has been awesome um, for us. Some things we've added that also continue to perform well or I'll comment on kind of longevity of some of the accessories we've we've added recently the extended fender flares you can see doesn't keep all the mud off but the mud mostly from coming up and inside the cab it keeps that at bay and those have performed well we did recently put on some Sun F tires and those are performing well also. The stock tires did well, but we wanted a little bit bigger tire, so end up going with the Sun F 29 inch tires. The rock sliders from Ricochet Off-Road have taken pretty good beating, but have held up nicely. We have the rock sliders as well as the A-arm guards. Of course, we got the HMF exhaust. Definitely like the uh, sound of that. Slow speeds as I've posted on other videos it is louder than stock and maybe annoying for some but uh, so far our riders haven't complained got the razor back off-road rack we've loaded that up with lots of gear before and it has performed well we've left it on I thought maybe we'd be taking it off but we've left it on it holds up well and it hasn't caused any issue with some of the gap of the tailgate uh, we always bring along with us our gear America gear in case we do get stuck or need to pull out other people let's talk next about the seats from UTVMA we have the bench seat in the back and it has performed well also it's hold, held up no issues with any wear and tear on the seat we also have the bump seat in the front uh, the, the stock seats of the general also are great seats very comfortable uh, let's talk about the we have the door mechanism, you know, latches, closing, or opening and closing seem to, to do just fine. We haven't had any issues with it being off centered or not closing very well. The shifter, I think it's a little bit stiff. Maybe this just the way it is on, on all the generals, but um, haven't had any issues with the, with the gear shifter. We also have a street legal kit. It's got the turn signal and the horn, the mirrors, and we took out the center mirror just with the center rider. Uh, doesn't really give much of a view, but we haven't had any electrical issues. We also changed out the headlights for some LED headlights, and then we have turn signals that are right, right through there uh, that go along with the street little kit, and we used never second 801 for those for that street legal kit our windshield from rye fab has been a great windshield right now we got it folded down let a lot of air in or you can have it fully up and vent out the bottom seismic mirrors work well let's see anything else sport roof does what a sport roof would do um, keeps the water off of us, the sun off of us. Haven't had any issues with that. No transmission issues. 
really to uh, to speak of. Um, the winch has worked nice. We've used it several times for getting us out or other people out, and it uh, it's a nice addition to have. I do like the uh, shocks on on this machine. Uh, they they really do change with the three settings that you can put it in, nice and easy, and uh, you know for riding pretty hard. Put it on the stiffer setting if you want a little bit more cushion. Go to the soft setting, and it, it actually does make a difference and does pretty well. So yeah, couldn't be uh, happier I think with this machine. We tend to ride it primarily uh, pretty sporty. I'd say faster paced than just crawling around, but very capable of doing both. Um, I haven't used it a ton for the utility side, but the dump bed does work well if, if you needed to use it for that. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our videos and uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos of this machine and our others in action.